Hey guys! I have made two videos before related to today's topic asking someone out on a date and marriage vocabulary. I am going to link them below in the description box so if you haven't watched them yet, definitely check them out. So if you are dating someone, the guy is the boyfriend and the girl is the girlfriend. If the couple decides to get engaged, then the guy is the fiancé and the girl is the fiancé. And if the couple decides to get married, the girl is the wife and the guy is the husband. There is also another term you should know, which is common law. A common law husband or a common law wife is someone who is not legally married but has lived in the same house with their partner for a long time. Common law is practiced in countries such as Australia, Canada, Hong Kong, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. Two people accept it as married even though they are not legally married. Some other vocabulary you could use for people who are dating, engaged, or married are First partner, someone that you are married to or having a sexual relationship with. You can just refer to them as your partner. My partner and I really want to have a baby. Better half, other half. A person's wife, husband or partner. My better half is in London for the week. She'll return next weekend. You could also say my other half. Significant other, a person with whom someone has established a romantic or sexual relationship with. Someone is asking you something like, when are we going to meet with your significant other? They mean, when are we going to meet with your girlfriend, boyfriend? And last, soulmate. Someone, usually a romantic partner, who you have a special relationship with, you love very much and believe that you are made and perfect for each other. But most of the relationships and some of the marriages come to an end. One of the reasons that relationships end is infidelity. Have an affair. When a person who is married or in a committed relationship has sex or an intimate relationship with someone other than their partner. Are you having an affair? Of course I'm not. Don't be silly. To cheat on somebody, to be unfaithful to your partner by secretly having sex with someone else. There doesn't have to be an affair for a relationship to end. You can simply fall out of love with that person, which is the opposite of falling in love, meaning that you are no longer in love with that person. You stopped loving him, her romantically. In these cases, you break out with the person. He broke out with me. He left me. He dumped me. This is a more slang way to say someone has left you. He ended things with me. If you don't want to say he did this to me, if the separation is mutual, if you decided to end things together, the things you could say are we broke up. We stopped seeing each other. We're not seeing each other anymore. We split up. We got separated. We ended things. If you don't want to end things all together, sometimes people take a break, have a break, give a break. Friends fans out there, I'm sure you remember the famous Ross line, we were on a break. We were on a break! If you're engaged, when you end things, this means someone broke off the engagement. 
If you are married, you need to end things legally, not just by words, so you get a divorce. If you have children, you need to decide who's going to take the custody. Custody is the legal right to care for a child after the parents have separated. Whoever gets the custody, the child lives with that person. Joint custody is when both parents have equal rights to make decisions about the child. After you get separated, the other person becomes your ex. He is my ex-boyfriend, husband, fiancé, or simply you can just say he is my ex. And if you're not the one who decided to break up, you need to take some time to get over that person. Get over someone to start feeling happy again after someone has hurt you, basically to forget about him and move on with your life. Move on to start to continue your life after you have dealt with a bad experience. It just seems that, you know, it's time we, you know, move on. I mean, don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. Good. I thought I got over him, but when I saw him tonight at the dinner, I realized that I still love him. It has been a year. You should stop thinking about him. You should move on. So this was it for today. Make sure to check the other videos that I will link down below. Also, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you next time.